Hey, bon appetit, and welcome to Cooking with the Vagabond Epicurean, a minimalist gourmet cook. Now, I know that's a lot to digest at one time, so let me go through the steps here. Vagabond, because I live on a sailboat 90% of the time, and I travel around on that, and then I travel around visiting uh, friends and relatives and our sons. Uh, so that's the vagabond part. Epicurean is because I'm in search of sensual pleasures. That is sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch. Minimalist, well, I think us sailboaters are probably the ultimate minimalist before minimalism was popular. And we could go through a whole series just on what minimalism is, but basically it's doing more with less. Less clutter, less debt, less stuff. It's about living life with experiences, not how much worldly possessions you can uh, build up. So that's that part of it. Let me give you a little bit of history. I grew up in the restaurant business. My mom and dad owned a restaurant outside of Kankakee, Illinois, one of the most successful restaurants in the area. My dad learned his trade to be a chef from some of the finest chefs in Chicago. And my mother always had an artistic ability with flowers and decorating and service. So I learned a lot from them over the years. Well, I've been a food and beverage director for several large hotel companies and even a regional director. I taught profitable food and beverage management on a um, community college level for the State University of New York system. And for over 20 years, I had my own consulting firm for hotels and restaurants. So what's this really all about? Well, it's about helping you become the chef you've always wanted to be or the cook you want to be. It's about learning the basics so that you can expand on that, how to use your food and your supplies more efficiently to cook great gourmet meals. It's not as difficult as it sounds and you're gonna have a lot of fun doing it. So I hope that you'll stay tuned, sign up for some of these online classes, and we'll have a lot of fun together. Cheers.